so now we need to head into the basement. So in this chain of events, we will be entering the basement twice. Rebecca just happens to be the first one down there. Wait a minute. Okay, we're good. Yeah, the only business we can do with Rebecca, with Rebecca down here is apply the Vigil. Because she doesn't have the control room key. So she can't go in that room and drain the water. I'm hoping we're able to defeat the plant root when there's water still in there. I think we can. Alright, well, meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and speed up this sequence again, so enjoy it. Too bad Rebecca doesn't push as fast as she runs. Alright, we gotta be fast here. Jolt does is it cancels the first phase of the fight entirely. So now I only have to do one phase of the fight, so that's nice. Alright, yeah, that shortened the fight dramatically. Alright, now we got the control room key. Oh! Hello. I can't believe it! Are you okay? Yeah, so much for him. We got to the root of the problem. Oh. Saved again. My god. I just. That was the cheesiest line ever. Really? Thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? I guarantee it. Where was that guarantee in the previous two playthroughs, Chris? Well, Chris, this is Richard's radio. We received communication from Brad at the courtyard a little while ago, but he is still flying around in the sky. Huh. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. You sound like a ten-year-old girl, Rebecca. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. Alright, so we get a, the radio a little earlier when doing the... when doing events like this. At the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago, I think I will be able to make something. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you're safe. Alright, so she's in the pharmacy now. I have the option of going in there. And what happens when you go in there is the same thing that happens then same thing that happens when you say no to her when meeting her in the save room. She'll have chemicals ready and she could treat you for injury. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this sequence real quick, cause she says something that you guys haven't heard before. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> oh my fucking god. I keep forgetting about that. They don't they don't waste time. <laughs> they don't let you just stand there in that room. That scared the hell out of me, especially because of the buzzing. Oh my god. Well, I bet you guys enjoyed that one. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, that just woke me up a little more. All right, so you're about to learn some interesting facts from Rebecca, whether or not you say yes or no for treating. This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. I can treat you, except for your major injury. Would you like me to? All right, so the last time she asked that in the other room, I said no. And Chris will say the same thing that he did when I did it then. However, after saying no, Rebecca will explain something that she doesn't say in the other room. This time, though, I'll go ahead and say yes, and she'll say she'll still say that, but when you say yes in either room, then she'll let you in on some details. So let's hear it. Yes, please do something for me, temporarily. <laughs> Alright, well, if you care, that's the same thing he would say in the other room if he said yes. And then you hear this. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. What's Umbrella? Don't you know? It's a large-scale pharmaceutical company based in Raccoon City. Oh, I see. All right, so one thing I just realized is, in the previous playthrough, you remember how she mentioned that there are only three doses left. That's kind of the case here, too, except she just doesn't disclose that information here. Now, if I chose yes in the previous playthrough, then Chris, right after saying, oh, I see, would have asked how much of the medicine is still usable, and Rebecca would have claimed two doses, since I would have used one if I said yes. All right, so yeah, there are a ton of events you could trigger in this game and lots of different cutscenes, and I just don't have enough playthroughs to witness every single one of them. So that's why I'm telling you all of this here and now. All right. Chris, take care! Oh, I see. You immediately reverted to that attitude again. All right, I cannot lollygag in this room. All right, well, since Rebecca met us here in the guardhouse, we will not be seeing her inside the mansion again. So now, for sure, from here on out, she is saved for the rest of the game. All right, now we need to go in the basement and drain the water. Luckily, this whole sequence is already done, thanks to Rebecca. Neptune suck. Alright, say goodbye to the precious water, Neptune. And press the button. Double shotgun ammo. And the helmet key. Alright, let's go this way. We haven't seen this side of the tank in a while. This is where the whole thing happened. are done with the guardhouse. Let's go ahead and exit. And if memory serves, we're about to look we're about to meet Wesker again. Wesker! And it's a spider. Chris! You're alive! My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? Nope, she's in a cell. I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. 
I hope she's okay. Look at that. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We are still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. Alright. And we all know to we all know what happens if I blow the spider to bits, it's gonna release its offspring, so I'm not even gonna bother. It didn't choke me there. Okay, so this is a range mode, and you do not fool around with range mode. So I'm gonna go grab an ink ribbon, and I'm gonna save here. taken off. Last playthrough I forgot to save so I was like extremely careful. Luckily I did not die in the last playthrough. Returning to the mansion, returning to the hunt, the now hunter-infested mansion. Oh, we have the radio now, so we do hear this transmission. This is Brad. I know you can't answer me, but somehow, give me a sign. This is Chris. Brad, can you hear me? Damn. Dogs are not out here. All right, we'll know that for the next and final playthrough. I think I'll go ahead and make this a doubler. One dog still left. Fully loaded for that first hunter. Oh, yeah, the Cerberi out here have returned for some damn reason. But they're no threat. Yet, anyway. Radio there, so don't have to worry about that. Still have to face this hunter though. Alright, do it like we always have. Stay on top of it. Alright, took four hits now, so yeah, they are more powerful. But that one was pretty easy. Shoot, what I have should have done probably was just grab the Colt Python out. Because now we have Magnum Memo. Alright, uh, oh, we're just doing the good ending, so we are not rescuing Jill, so we are not grabbing these Modisks. Alright, out of everything I have... The only thing that needs to get stored is the magnum rounds. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> 